Good evening, everyone. Today we'll be reading Weaving the Rainbow. This is, of course, test number 77405. What I really like about this book is I think the paintings, the the, the illustrations are just gorgeous in this book. Um, it's, and I hope you all enjoy it with me. Uh, also, hope everybody's doing well. I uh, hope, everybody's, hope everybody's enjoying the books. Like I said, if you're on here and you like these books, please just give me a big old thumbs up. Share this information. If you saw this on Facebook, share it on Facebook. Uh, let other people know about my readings. Let other people know about the books. There's, I'm telling you, there's plenty of points out there in these books. I probably have uh, at least, maybe close to getting closer to 20 points worth of books out there. So there we go. Weaving the Rainbow by George L. Lyon, illustrated by Stephanie Anderson. Let's go ahead and just jump into this book. How do you make a rainbow? If you are a weaver, you can make a rainbow with wool. If you are a sheep, you can be a rainbow. And here's how. Love this illustration. This is like just like the cover, one of the cover sheets. Just love this illustration. Are they watercolors? It should say in here. Yeah, watercolors. These are all watercolors. They're gorgeous. The pages stick together. It says, standing at her fence, the weaver sees rainbow sheep gazing in her pasture. It is spring now. It is shearing time. When they were born a year ago in the dark barn on cold March nights, when the weaver watched their mothers lick them clean for the first time, their coats were white. And they were white when they turned them out into April fields. I love these pictures. Can't get the pages to turn though. And in July, when she washed and combed them and loaded them into the trailer for their trip to the state fair, they were white and bright and they won first prize. Except for a little bit of blue there. Look at all that blue. But they were getting closer to the rainbow. Fall brought their first shearing. Then as the days turned cold, their winter wool grew in. It kept them warm right through the snow. Now that it's spring again, their coats are too hot, so the weaver pins each yearling between her legs and clips the rich wool close. It comes off in one piece, sheep shape. White and springy with fl this fleece, but carrying it from the pasture, the weaver sees rainbows. See, she sees something in the fleece that others are not. She combs the wool free of sticks and burrs, washes out dirt and stains, uh, and stains, cards it till the strands all go the same way and spins it, pulling and twisting a skein from the fluff till it's long and strong enough to weave. When spinning is done, the weaver draws a plan. Then she makes her dyes from plants she has gathered, indigo, goldenrod, matter, she is cooking up a rainbow in big pots. She soaks the wool like dyeing Easter eggs. She's going to dye this in different colors.
When she gets the color she wants, she hangs the yarn to dry. She won't be making cloth to wear. She'll be weaving a picture, doing with wool what a painter does with paint. This is cool. She's, she's going to make a beautiful picture. Next, the weaver wraps her loom. She ties her different colored yarn to the back beam, then pulls it strand by strand to the front. There she, uh, she ties it again, making the warp. When it's time to weave deep blue, she'll wind that color on the shuttle the way a painter dips her paintbrush in the paint. Then she'll guide the shuttle over and under the warp to make the weft. I love it. You can already see a rainbow forming. Finally, she begins feet on the tre uh, on the treadles, hands on the shuttle, back and forth, back and forth. From the wool of her white sheep, she weaves Kentucky pastures. Grass green, evergreen, willow yellow, red bud, purple shadow, shy sky blue. From wool looped across her hand, she weaves in lambs and their mamas. Oh, this is going to be cool. White sheep in rainbow pastures. In rainbow pastures, she weaves white sheep. Oh, look, it's her picture. So the sheep did weave a rainbow. And then just the end. Well, I hope you all like that book. It wasn't a real long one, but it is, it's really pretty. Like I said, I just I love the artwork in there. I also like how it uh, brings in Kentucky, which hey, a little Kentucky symbol right there, a UK symbol. So I hope. What it said, I hope everybody enjoys. I hope everybody's being safe. Remember, good hand washing. Uh, if you need feel like you need to wear a mask, or they're saying you should wear a mask, wear your mask out in public, good social distancing, and just keeps up. We're all going to get through this. As Andy Bashir says, we're going to get through this. We're going to get through this together. You all have a wonderful evening, and I will see you tomorrow night, same time, same place.